lesson 21 of Ready Math, we finish up our unit dealing with measurement. All right, we've been looking at what a measurement is, all the different tools to measure, how to practice and actually measure objects. We looked at centimeters and inches a lot. We've also talked about other tools like yardsticks and meter sticks and things like that, all right? Feet and inches. So now we're actually going to apply what we've learned with measurement back to what we already know about math and specifically addition and subtraction. In our last lesson is we started to compare objects and the length of two different objects. We started to set the foundation for us to be able to add and subtract. So let's look at a problem from Ready Math. So Michaela has a string of beads that is 56 centimeters long. She cuts off eight centimeters to make it the right length for a necklace. How long is the string of beads now? So just like we've done all year, as we've learned to add and subtract, especially with word problems, we know we gotta make sense of the problem. We gotta make sure we understand if we're gonna be adding or we're gonna be subtracting. So in this example, I know that we start off with 56 centimeters, but it says she's going to cut off eight centimeters. So if we picture that in our head, if I cut something off, I'm making it shorter. I'm subtracting part of it away. All right, so now that I know that this is a subtraction problem, I know that it's going to be, and I'm gonna go ahead and write my problem up here. It's gonna be 56, and we're subtracting off, we're cutting off eight centimeters, and we're trying to figure out what's left. Now, we're gonna go back to the same strategies we used earlier in the year for addition and subtraction. We could draw a picture, but it might not be great to draw a picture every time, but let's look at the picture they gave us from the book. So they showed us the whole necklace was 56 centimeters. That would be our total. And then we cut off eight, all right? So they're also showing us that here with a um, part, part whole or a bar model. Again, we see our total. And then we see one of our parts. And so we're looking for the missing part, all right? And so again, when I look at that model, knowing that one of the add-ins or one of the parts is missing, that this is going to have to be a subtraction problem, all right? So let's look at the open number line, or this is an open number line, this is an actual number line, where they've jumped starting at 56, and they jumped to the left, they jumped six and two more. So they jumped a total of eight jumps, all right? So we took away eight, we jumped back six, we jumped back two more. And so what did we end up at? We ended up at 48. So we go back and look at our problem. 56 minus eight means our necklace, what's left over is going to be 48. And don't forget to label it. 48 centimeters. We don't want to think about our necklace being 48 feet long, but 48 centimeters. Okay, so again, we're using the same tools, the same process we did before when we did addition and subtraction, but now we're using it, but we're using it with measurement. So let's look at another example. So Sam and Sadie are making a poster with a border. Sam has a piece of border that's 23 inches long. Sadie has the border that is seven inches longer than Sam's. The top of their poster is 50 inches long. Do they have enough border to cover the top of the poster? Explain your reasoning. So there's a lot happening in this problem. First of all, I know that Sam's is 23 inches long. I know exactly how long Sam's piece of the border is. And I see that right here in this picture. But it says Sadie's piece is seven inches longer than Sam's. So we don't know how long Sadie's is. We have to take what we know about Sam's, which was 23 inches, but we know that hers is seven inches longer. So here on Sadie's picture, we're starting off with the 23 inches that Sam had, but hers is seven inches more. So let's go ahead and figure that out. How long would that be? 23 and seven makes that a total of 30 inches. So this is a multiple step problem. I first have to figure out what Sadie's border is based on the information I'm given, but then we have to go back and answer the question. So the answer says, 
or the question says, sorry, that the top of the poster is 50 inches. Do they have enough? So do they have 50 inches? So to determine if they have enough, I've got to add both pieces of this together. So I have Sam's 23 and Sadie's 30. So I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to stack it up so I can look at my tens and my ones. Again, we're going to use all the things we've learned about addition and subtraction this year. So in my ones place, I have just three, but I have 30 and 20 in my tens place, or three and two is five or 53. So if we're trying to find enough for 50 inches and we have 53 inches, do we have enough? Yes, we do. We see the same thing done here at the bottom. We see that they use the open number line to start with Sam's amount, which was 23. They jumped the seven inches, which was the seven inches more for Sadie's border, which got us to 30. Then they jumped 23 more. And so they jumped a total of 27 plus three makes it 30. So we started with the 23. We jumped a total of 30, and we ended up at, and here they had 50 with three more, means we would be at 53. So the open number line shows us that we were right. We had 53 inches, which means, yes, we would have enough border for the post.